Good evening, everyone. My name is Pradeep. I work for a conservation and wildlife research organization and a nonprofit in Bangalore, India, called Center for Wildlife Studies. So the tiger is among the most charismatic and recognizable large mammals in the world. But a sobering fact about them is that over the last century or so, they have been wiped out of more than 90% of their historical range. Their survival now hinges upon a few remnant forest habitats that are left in India, Southeast Asia, and e east of Russia. And the forests in India play a crucial role in their future survival. India started a Project Tiger way back in 1973 uh, with an expressed aim to conserve its tigers and their habitats. So as part of this initiative, existing protected, protected areas considered important for tiger survival are given highest levels of protection. They're upgraded with uh, much higher levels of funding for conservation and management. Starting with, about, starting with nine tiger reserves in 1973, it is now up to 50 tiger reserves as we speak. Um, together, they make up about 2% of the total land area and less than half of the total protected area in the country. Still, in such a seemingly small uh, part of the country where human densities are perhaps the highest anywhere in the world, there are about 2,500 wild tigers still remaining, which account for about 70% of the total world wild tiger population. So clearly, it's important to try and understand what significant management interventions in their protected areas what impacts those have on, on the habitats and the ecological functioning of the forests. So we, uh, as part of this project, we are interested in understanding how the tiger reserve has have fared, particularly what the vegetation condition in these forests have fared since the project tiger took off. Thanks to Google Earth Engine and Landsat 5, we have close to 30 years of um, remote sensed imagery that we can crunch through, make annual composites of, and so on. And since we are trying, I mean, since we are really interested in understanding what the designation of Tiger Reserve itself has done to the vegetation condition, we can look at how the trends have been since it's since a Tiger Reserve establishment, compare that with how it was before establishment, and also take it a step further and choose a, a non-Tiger Reserve nearby with comparable forest types and see how the same analysis plays out with those parks just to serve as a baseline. Given that Project Tiger is India's premier and flagship conservation initiative, and Tiger Reserves make up perhaps some of the most, uh, um, the best forests in India, it's important to understand the management effectiveness of these uh, conservation intervention steps. Thank you. <laughs>